This life update is going to be in so many directions that I think we will all be lost by the time this video is complete. I'm gonna run long, I'm gonna go left, right, up, down, back, left, triple back, right, maybe go through the floor, climb back out with a ladder, and then probably hop on a treadmill. That the, That's gonna be the nature of this video. We are gonna do a life update for anyone who happens to be curious about my personal life, the personal workings of my brain, uh, my fitness, my mental health, my drinking. We're gonna touch on it all. I don't know how deep I'm gonna go on any of it, but it's this is gonna be a lot. This is gonna be a lot because I, I've noticed that I haven't been wanting to make videos and I've been a little creatively stifled, um, but I need to touch base with you before I start going into other topic videos. I need to make sure that in whatever capacity you and I are on even ground, that we're just, we're in good terms. But the first thing I want to talk about, just for whatever it's worth, is that my mental health, my, my depression rather, has been fantastic. Uh, I went through a bout, undoubtedly, for a couple months after I relapsed uh, back in April. And it got really dark and it really spooked me, as it always does. And so I shared about it once I thought it was a real thing. And I got really lucky and it was pretty short-lived. And I've had a wonderful stretch of mental health in general. Anxiety has been a bit bad for some physical reasons, which I'm going to talk about. But depression-wise, fantastic. And you spend a lot of time talking about how depressed you are when you struggle with depression, especially if that is like the foundation of your channel. So it's been nice to be feeling good. Like I didn't know I had a couple months of stability in me. Like my longest stretch that I could remember was like three or four weeks of being like, damn, I think I feel good. The rest of it's sort of like dysthymic uh, is how I tend to live. A little bit low with moments of high and then some hard moments of low. So anyway, your boy's feeling really upbeat and I'm grateful. Briefly about the drinking. Started drinking again back in April, going, going through this back and forth thing for years on this channel. And for the first month, I definitely noticed I was doing it to cope with depression. And I saw that shit happening and I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, no, you've learned too much this last year about who you are, what you're capable of, what's, what's quote unquote good for you and bad for you. And, and in my opinion, drinking to cope with and to deal with depression is a mistake. And I didn't want to participate in that. And then my depression started lifting. I was like, oh, well, dope. I guess I'm not drinking for that anymore. Uh, so why am I drinking? And I went along and, and drank for a couple more weeks after that. When I say drink, uh, someone was asking me how often I drink, probably like once or twice a week. It, it snuck into three there during a holiday week. And I was like, no, that's too much. Uh, it feels like way too much. So once or twice a week tends to be how much I drink. But it kind of all feels like too much with my background. I always have that little voice in my head saying like, you shouldn't drink because of my history with depression, because of how spoken I've been, because how much I value health and wellness and, and just how opposite the type of drinking I do is for that. It, it, the cognitive dissonance there is insane and it continues to be insane despite my behavior. But I, I've committed myself to being a gentle observer and not a critical judge and just, just taking it a day at a time and see where this is taking me, how I feel, staying connected to my wife, um, and seeing just seeing what's happening here because I feel like it's something I must need to go through. And that brings me to this next point. On July 4th, I think I mentioned this in one video, don't expect that you saw it, but on July 4th, I hung out with people, we barbecued, we drank, we ate, and then I ate some more. Uh, and then I ate some more. And I ended up binge eating like like crazy, and I never do that. Like I'm, I'm a very health conscious person in general, but not when I'm drinking. I'm super unique in that way. And I woke up July 5th with this horrible pain in my stomach that hasn't fully gone away. It's just a massive burning right here at the top of my abdomen, lower part of my, my sternum. Uh, like a sizzling, ouch, burn feeling, like a rug rash inside my stomach. And I never felt anything like it. And I'm a health conscious person, which brings me to a different life update. My mood, depression wise, has been bomb. But drinking for sure impacts my anxiety. And I didn't have much anxiety this last year. And these are all major deterrents. I don't want to be in pain. I don't want to be in discomfort. Um, I don't want to, I, I want to be well. I want to be happy. I want to be stable and I want to be proud of myself or whatever. And so when I woke up July 5th with this horrible stomach pain that still hasn't gone away, but mostly went away, I was like, hmm, see, no. I think what I'm starting to realize in general is that drinking is not a big deal to me 
personally, so long as it doesn't get in the way of any of the things that matter in my life. As long as it's not impacting my mental health, my financial health, my physical health, my marriage, my business, my goals, my bedtime, my reading, like my self-care, as long as like all of those things are great, then I just, it's not a big deal. Like I just don't care that much. Where I'm having problems is that it's impacted my physical health and probably a little bit of my productivity. And then it's just like, mm, so then it doesn't sit well with me. You know, that's when it's just like, no, I'm not about that. I'm not okay with that. So what do I do? What's the adjustment? Like I, I, I didn't sign up for that. Like I want, I want my cake and I want to have my cake and eat it too, but I'd rather get rid of the eating it part if it means I have to go through physical stress and pain like this because it triggers so much physical anxiety, health anxiety. It's something that I've had to work through over the years. I'm clearly, I'm clearly negotiating again with behaviors that that if lead to bad things, I don't feel comfortable with anymore. Um, I got to taste a really stable life as a sober person. And despite the fact that my mood has been so good and that overall my life has still continued to be quite good. I mean, my, my fitness is going really well. Relationships are going well. Um, hung over one too many times here or there. I'm just like, damn, I should be more productive. I don't like that. And then the cognitive dissonance thing is tough. I'm like, I want to be someone you guys trust. I want to be someone who who can positively influence my friends, my family, and then myself. Like I wanna be worthy of your time and their time. And I wanna be a leader. And leaders lead from the front. And it's been very strange to lead so hard from the front five days a week, but then a couple days a week just to say F it and drink 10 beers and eat a burrito. And then you wake up the next day and you're like, damn, like, mm. Like, I thought I wasn't that guy anymore, but here I am again. And it's not even so much a shame thing. It's just like, I just don't like how that feels. So, but then I just keep doing it because I just I still enjoy drinking. It's been, it's, it's the dichotomy of it all. But July 5th, anyway, I hurt my stomach and I didn't drink for a couple of weeks. And I really enjoyed not drinking for a couple of weeks. Like I really did. Um, I like how it feels to be a really hypervigilant, motivated, healthy, sober person. I just, it, it feels good. I, I kind of like, I wear it like a, like a, just like a, a coat in winter. I just, it, it feels comfortable, attractive, and in line with who I really think I am. Uh, and not that I think I'm some like perfect person who doesn't make mistakes, but just, I just feel like I am a disciplined person. It's very hard to accept just, just not being a, responsible adult. The, the older I get, the more I realize I love being a responsible adult. I love that. Uh, it was one of the mantras that really stuck with me in my year of sobriety working with my drug and alcohol counselor is adult, adult responsibility is non-negotiable. And I've been negotiating a bit more. And so to have those two weeks without drinking in July and to feel so good, and then my stomach started healing a bit, and then to kind of go back to drinking a couple times a week and struggling again, I'm just like, huh. Like my body is revolting against the way I behave when I drink. Cause I'm not the type of person that has a drink or two. I, I have eight to 10. That's a lot. I'm a binge drinker. And when I'm not drinking, I'm intermittent fasting and I'm eating tons of fiber and vegetables and, and no added sugar and no process. I mean, I'm just like essentially like a health guru who then isn't for a day or two a week. And that's been my main, I guess you could say struggle or my, ba my main concern with where I'm headed and what I'm trying to do. And it's hard, that's why it's hard to talk about because people unsubscribe every time I do. And, it, and it's fair. How do I, I can't, I don't think I can be both. I don't know that I can. I don't know that I can be this mental health survivor who says he values mental stability and physical wellness and living in your, in your truth uh, and growth and self care and all these things that fitness that just matter so much to me. And they really do it. That's what brings me my identity. It's what makes me feel excited. I don't know if I can do all that, but then show up at the party with a, a six pack of tall boys. I don't know if I can be both. I want to be both. I just don't think it's possible. Deep down, I just deep down don't. And my stomach hurts. I hate that. I hate that. 
I hate laying in bed, you know, with anxiety about what's wrong with my stomach. I feel like the part of me that takes good care of myself and takes ownership over my choices and the way they affect me and others, that's, that's the me that I've come to know. And so I was talking to my drug and alcohol counselor or whatever, and we were talking about the stomach thing, and she's like, what are you gonna do? And I was like, well, I have to heal my stomach. I mean, I, I can't, it's unacceptable to me to spend a month with horrible stomach pains and burning stomach, whatever, because I won't put down the hammer that hurt my stomach. I wish I didn't have a sensitive stomach. That would be very, very convenient. But I'm just, you know how like people are like, alcohol just doesn't agree with me. I, I might just be one of those people. Like, I just, it just doesn't seem to physically agree with me. Because my mood, like I said, fantastic. And my interest in my, my hobbies and my business and my fitness and, and all these things that just bring me so much fulfillment, fantastic. But I can't seem to incorporate some like partying with people without there being just consequence. And I think that's been like my biggest life update is just like I've come to, in contact now with my first semblance of consequence. Like look what happened to your stomach from your behavior. And then when that happens, I'm like, no, I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't want this. I don't want to be, I don't want anything to do with this. So that's sort of where I'm at. No, I think if I didn't have any stomach issues, like zero, any physical response that's like genuinely like, nah, don't like it. Cause I like feeling good. I don't know that we'd be having this conversation, but it's a conversation I've been needing to have with you. It's just, I know what the simple solution is. It, just don't drink. <laughs> Cause if I don't drink, I will not binge eat. Um, I'll, I just, I take really good care of myself and I like that about me. So here's what we're gonna do. Because I, I, I seem to not want to just go right back to what I was always doing, the 12 step thing. Uh, and because I genuinely do enjoy drinking, I guess, I mean, I don't like how it makes my body feel, but like in the moment, right? Like I definitely, I, I just, I think that part of life can be fun. I have to make it smaller for right now. I have to make it smaller. So uh, in speaking with my counselor yesterday, we talked about how we're just we're gonna go for a 30 day full body detox and we're gonna start it after this trip I'm taking uh, because I know I wanna partake in things that are gonna make my stomach hurt because I'm a little bit crazy that way. But uh, after this trip, we're gonna go 30 days, we're not gonna drink. And we're gonna start it with a 72 hour fast so I can let my gut heal. And then we're gonna go for a bone broth uh, fast for a couple days after that. And then we're gonna do an elimination diet. We're gonna try to figure out what's going on with my stomach. And we're gonna see how it feels to spend that, those 30 days um, sober. And I think it's gonna feel great. Now, I'm gonna reassess things then. I'm gonna get all healed up. I'm gonna do that elimination diet. We're going hyper bland. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna get a bunch of, I'll get some guidance and leadership on how to do a proper elimination diet, but I just don't wanna have diarrhea all the time and like stomach cramps and this burning, it's awful. And I'm going to do a lot of reflecting and talking with my counselor and just decide where I go from there in terms of the drinking, not as Noah the alcoholic who needs to get sober, but maybe just as like Noah the person whose body and lifestyle just don't agree with it. That not like immorally. Cause like I, I would love to partake, but look what happens when I do. Like I can stay lean, I can have my depression not be a problem, I can show up to the gym, I can I can I can do life. But I'm still suffering these consequences that I just like don't like. So maybe I just maybe I just end up staying sober because it just agrees with me better. But maybe not as Noah the alcoholic, but just as Noah the non-drinker because my stomach won't let me. Or because it's just not good for my business, you know? Or it interferes with my sleep. Maybe I could be that guy. I don't know. But I have to explore it a little bit. I have no regrets about the last two or three months. And I don't hold any judgment for what I decide. But I, I am going to do at least that month and see how I'm doing and see how I'm feeling. Because I clearly have an unquenchable thirst to, to just be really healthy and strong and, uh, and to feel like I'm always growing and I'm always learning and seeing what's next and what's, what I'm capable of. And so when I feel myself regressing, it's just tough to do. It's just tough to do because I've tasted forward motion um, 
and I maybe I just I'm just not cut out for some of the the give and take of of uh, of drinking the way I drink. I just might not be cut out for it. I don't know. I just don't know. But I'm okay, I'm okay with it though. And I, I love myself today and I haven't been stressed and I haven't been angry and I haven't been like, oh, you're a loser. No negative self-talk. Like I completely love myself and I accept myself and I'm proud of myself for just being me. I, I am absolutely enough just as I am now. So how are you guys? I've got a lot of requests to make a lot of videos, but I just couldn't do anything until I psycho babbled at you for a while. Uh, also, and I may have already said this, I just can't remember, but I, I'm not trying to convince you of anything. I'm trying not to convince myself of anything. I, I'm trying just to reflect and, and talk honestly and, and make sure that, uh, you know, to the best of my ability, you guys know what's going on with me so that we can remain, not to sound weird, but like close, you know, as an audience, as a group, uh, as, as a channel. 